Good morning. It is Friday and Jules is off to the vet for her surgery this morning. Um, in case you don't know, she has a cyst on her back that ended up getting infected and um, she was put on an antibiotic and to get the infection out and then they want to remove the cyst on her back and then she has some of her gum is growing over her tooth and they want to laser that off because they said eventually she will it'll bleed because when she eats it'll just start bleeding so we're gonna get that taken care of too today so yes and then last night um, at midnight she we had to take her food away and then this morning no later than seven o'clock we had to take her water away so if you have a puppy going into surgery ever make sure you check with the vet for the food and water situation and what time they want you to take that stuff away so I'm glad that we asked Jay ended up um, calling them because I was like don't we have to take her food and water away and um, and he said oh I'll call you know and check so I'm glad that he did because yes we had to do that so I am getting some coffee <laughs> um, it was just a rough night you know last night just worrying and you know you know how it is when you got your sweet fur babies I'm telling you they're just they are like your children they really are so um, but yeah, I'm going to grab some coffee. I'm going to sit down. I'm washing up her blankets and stuff so the blankets are all clean and stuff when she gets home. And I don't know. We'll see how she does and how the day plays out. And I will keep you posted. Look what Jason just did. He put a hole in the door. It's a peephole. Ta-da! That is going to be nice to have in that door. But look at this. Oh, Jason! <laughs> and Jason also hung a wreath hanger for the door too. Isn't that cute? He got it at, we believe it's Home Depot is where he got the wreath hanger. So yeah, now we have a little people to be able to see people come in our door and a place to hang a wreath. Okay, Jason has been very busy today. Um, also we're going to show, it's outside you said? Okay. We have something else we want to show you really quickly. Okay, we gotta go outside. It's okay, it's warm enough. You won't need a jacket, right? Right. Okay. Okay, let me show you. Oh, that's cool. Ta-da, that's an outside garage door opener. I love it. So yes. I, and then I'll show you a project that we're waiting, waiting to work on. Hang on, I'll show you. Okay, this is a project we've been waiting to do for, how long would you say, a good couple months now? March. <laughs> I think like, yeah. Month to two months we've been waiting for this and every time he's ready to work on it, it rains. This is all these pieces, that's a shed. And the shed is gonna go there. And so him, Jay and the boys ended up putting everything out here yesterday afternoon. He's like, I'm going to work on that, which is today, Friday. And um, I was woken up this morning and thunderstorms were coming through. I could, we couldn't believe it. Jay goes, you know, it's got to be something with that shed because we are, now we have to wait for it to dry out to be able to start putting it together. But man, it's going to be so nice when we get it together because we really need the extra space because we can't park our cars in the garage right now because of like the bicycles, the motorcycle, there's just all that kind of stuff in there. Timothy's making faces at me. That's why you see me keep looking at him. Boys. I haven't done that. What was that, Mr. Innocent? I said I haven't done that in a while. Do you remember there was a video like a long time ago, you were recording something and um, I was making faces at you and you could see my reflection in the fridge. <laughs> it's hummingbirds. Oh, you can see them flitting in there. Oh, they love the purple flowers. 
Okay, I have something very exciting to tell you. Me and Jason just went to the post office and we got a P.O. box for the channel. I am so excited. I've been wanting one for a while. So I will have the address to my P.O. box down below. So yeah, I'm really excited about it. Okay, it is four o'clock and me and Jason were talking and we haven't heard anything from the vet about Jules. So while we're out, we're actually gonna go ahead and we're going to go to the veterinary clinic and see if she is ready to come home. So hopefully she's ready to come home and that part can be over with. Okay, we ended up going there and they said that normally Jules would have had to stay the night and the doctor seemed upset that the front desk had told us that we can come back and get her this afternoon because he said usually they have them stay the night. Um, but he said she did so good. Thank you for all of your prayers. Thank you so much because prayer works. Um, he said she did so good with it that she could go home and um, she has staples in her back. Oh, and it's a lot larger than what I thought it was. It made me sick to my stomach just to see it. Oh my goodness. But um, we have to get the staples out in 10 to 14 days. And um, she had a little catheter in her leg. And so they put a pink bandage around her leg. She's got medicine she's going to be on. Let me show you. Jules, no, no. She wants to run. She's being a stinker. Hang on. All right, that's her little pink bandage on her foot. And this is where the cyst was. Oh, baby. So, um... We're just gonna really keep our eye on her big time. They said if she starts, no, no, picking at her sore and stuff, she's gonna have to have one of those cones around her neck. So keep praying. <laughs> it's a journey. <laughs> um, but yeah, she did good. And her blood work is good because they said if her blood work wasn't good, they would not have done surgery on her. Okay. Yep. Jules is throwing a fit. Can you tell him what you want to do? She wants to go for a W A L K and I have to spell it out because she knows the word so well. Oh my. Yeah. She wants to resume her activities, a little stinker. Excuse the whole mess, but I'm still in my pajamas. Um, Jules did pretty good last night. She was really hungry off and on last night. So we were feeding her soft foods because of the work that was done on her teeth and that her stomach could be upset too from the medicines and stuff. So, but she did good. I slept right here in this chair with her. And um, when Jay got up, I went to bed and then he stayed up with her. So, but she didn't do too bad. I could tell every once in a while that, um, she could feel like a almost like a twitch of pain because she would you know twitch and then she would look at her back so but we have her on pain medicine and she's gonna start her antibiotics here shortly and then with the pain medicine they gave her another medicine to help her stomach not be upset from the pain medicine so okay I think we're gonna attempt to let her go for a you know what <laughs> A very 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 short one we'll see she's so spoiled our roses broke out the other day aren't they beautiful do you see all the tomatoes that broke out on the tomato plant uh, this past week we got all of these this one we have still several down here this one broke out I'm so excited about it I've never gotten to grow tomatoes so I'm just really excited how they're just popping out all of a sudden. It's chilly out here today. We actually are in jackets and long sleeve shirts and, and windy. Yeah, definitely. What's it supposed to get to? It's supposed to get to the low 70s, right? Or no? Uh, today? Yeah. No, it's 65 today. 65 is all. That's quite a drop for what we've been having because it got up in the 90s the one day this past week. so. Burr. 
Okay, me and Jason are off to get some dinner. It is four o'clock and we're starving. We didn't do lunch, we just did breakfast this morning. Kind of like, late, like a later breakfast, didn't we? Mm -hmm. um, the shed is taking him longer than what he was planning, right? Yes, a lot longer. <laughs> the instructions actually came with a book. It's a book of instructions. He just eight and a half by 11. Yeah. 78 pages <laughs> and the wind is just crazy it's got a chill to it the sun is warm but the wind has got a real chill to it today so but yes that is what we are doing Jules is laying down and taking it easy and we're just trying to keep her laying down she thinks she needs to help Jason while he's building the shed though yeah she's a good supervisor She's a very good supervisor. Typical supervisor, always in the way. <laughs> she is. She goes around sniffing everything and yeah. At least she isn't stealing my parts and tools like she used to. Oh, that's right. I forgot she used to do that. When she was a puppy and he would be working outside and he would have his tools or any paper or anything, she would grab it and she would take off running around the yard with it and we would have to chase her. Oh man. Jason would be so upset by the time he got his tool back or the piece of paper or whatever he needed. A little stinker. Yeah, I'm glad she grew out of that stage. Yeah, me too. Oh. Okay, we are off to get dinner. Pink Cadillac. That is sweet. Good morning. Jules had a very good night last night. She only got up, I believe, one time to go potty and she slept the whole entire night. So thank you all for your sweet, sweet comments, the love that you guys have been showing us this weekend, all your prayers. Oh, I cannot tell you how truly thankful we are for you. Okay, last night, uh, update on the shed. Um, Jay and Justin and Timothy worked on that shed until it got dark. And he got so frustrated, he just stopped. And um, because the, I believe it's called the gable or whatever, the front part of the roof would not go on. So let me show you what he ended up doing this morning. Okay, the bar going across here, the front of it right here, would not fit on. Well, it ended up, the bar was too short. So he went to the store and he had to pretty much lengthen. He had to create the bolts and screw and all that stuff up there to create it, to give it some more length so that it actually fit the shed. Okay, it is all done. Isn't it adorable? We still have our mess to clean up, but let me show you the inside. Okay, so the doors swing out, both doors do. And then you walk in and it has hooks and stuff on the walls and you can hang tools and probably rakes and things like that. And you can buy it, those um, hooks additional, right, to it too. And you can buy additional shelving and stuff like that and just make it your own. And then you turn on this side and it comes with two great big huge shelves that's the length of the side wall. So it's got, it lets light in through these little things. Then you can buy hooks that hang from here and you can hang like chairs and things. Really? Okay. So we might be buying, we might be purchasing stuff like that, but oh, I just love it. So yes, it is done and we are pretty tickled about it. It was a pain. Jay really, it gave Jason some, didn't it? A little headache there for a little bit, but it all worked out and we needed this little thing. It'll be nice to be able to put stuff in here. Okay, so that is the weekend. That was what we did this weekend pretty much. I still have to take down my Easter stuff. I've kind of got it up all over, so. Um, but you are actually watching this on Monday, so happy Monday. I hope you have a terrific week. And also, today is mine and Jay's 24th anniversary. 
is when you're watching this Monday. So we are gonna be celebrating our anniversary. Thank you so much for hanging out with us this weekend and all your um, care and concern and prayer and all the sweet comments that I've had all over my social media about Jules and her surgery this weekend. I really, really appreciate it and I appreciate you, each and every one of you. I will talk to you later. Bye.